Hey there. Uh, earlier this year we did a video on LU decomposition using uh, SciPy and someone asked how to calculate the uh, inverse of a matrix using um, LU decomposition. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to just do that in this video. And um, my notes are going to reflect LU decomposition but in the code I'm going to take uh, into account the uh, permutation matrix. Uh, just because all implementations in SciPy or, or um, Fortran or C that I know of that do LU, de LU decomposition uh, basically do the, the PLU, uh, keeping track of the permutations as well. So uh, let's just get into it. Uh, there's no re real coding in here. I, I will work out the matrix inverse uh, in code in case you just want to see it, but um, let's just jump into it. So let's quickly review LU decomposition. The idea is that we take a matrix and decompose it into two separate matrices. One is lower triangular and the other upper triangular. Upper triangular. So as an example, um, we have this matrix here and we want to decompose it into our lower triangular matrix and our upper triangular. And this is useful in solving linear systems of equations as we as we kind of show here. So you take your your L and your U matrices and then you realize that whatever the product of this matrix here times our unknown uh, vector is is still unknown but we're going to call that X tilde so this now reduces to a simpler equation our uh, lower triangular matrix times X tilde is equal to our vector of knowns and this can just be solved by forward substitution so X1 1 times X1 is equal to 20 so X1 is equal to 20 we plug that in down here so we have 0.25 X1 times X2 equals 14 and we can calculate X2 and so on for X3 because now we know X1 and X2 and likewise for X4 uh, when we have that uh, once we have that done, we go to our uh, our definition of X tilde. Remember, X tilde was our vector of original unknowns times our upper triangular matrix. And we could solve this uh, via backward substitution. So 1.666 uh, times X4 is equal to whatever our, our fourth X tilde was and so on. So you just back out the, the um, back out all of the unknowns. So you can use this to find the inverse of a matrix as well. Um, that's generally how a lot of these codes work in SciPy or NumPy. If you type in, um, you know, linear algebra dot inverse uh, and you plug in a matrix, it actually does the LU decomposition uh, to, to find the inverse. So let me show how that is done in a uh, new notebook. So the idea here is if we have a matrix A that we wish to find its inverse, we realize um, that it, uh, the original matrix times its inverse, A, to, I've written here as A to the minus 1, uh, we will get back the identity matrix uh, written here as I. And uh, just for notational simplicity, let's define the matrix inverse uh, as capital B. So in equation form, we have A times B is equal to the identity matrix. Now for a somewhat concrete uh, version, I have written out the elements here of our A matrix and our unknown inverse matrix B um, for a three by three case at least. And of course this product is gonna be equal to the identity matrix. Now if you consider basically the product of this A matrix times the first column of our B matrix here, we would get back this vector here, one, zero, zero. Likewise, if we multiply our A matrix times the second column, we will get back 0, 1, 0, a column vector. And of course, the same thing for the third column of B. We get back the third column of the identity matrix. So what we have here are three matrix equations that we have to basically solve. So we have um, our A matrix times our first column of B is equal to this. Second column of B equal to that. Third column. Um, and that's basically just it. And we solve all of these via LU decomposition, and then we kind of stitch back our, you know, our B matrix, uh, B column vectors into our B matrix. So let's show how that could be done in code. So these are the only inputs uh, we're gonna, going to need. LU obviously does the LU decomposition. Uh, these two here, as we discussed uh, a while ago in our original video on the subject, are used to actually solve, in a practical way, linear systems of equations. This LU factor will deliver uh, um, a stripped-down version of our L and U matrix kind of combined together. 
as well as the permutation matrix, and then you pass those into LU solve to get the solution. This here will just give you all three matrices, um, permutation L and U. So let us set a random, let's just create a random matrix, and we will set a constant random seed, uh, just so that we could reproduce our, um, our matrices if we want. So I'll just set that seed equal to one, and let's create a random a random matrix and let's keep it the same size as above um, three by three so that's going to be our random matrix and let's just print this out and make sure it's actually all the imports came in properly so that's what our matrix looks like and we're going to calculate the inverse of that via LU decomposition so what I think I'm going to do is actually use this LU command here and then kind of generate the uh, manually put together what this LU, uh, I'm sorry, LU factor command would give to pass into LU solve. Uh, very clunky and you wouldn't use it in practice, but I just want to kind of w talk through the logic of how um, like this code works. And then of course, to the calculation of the inverse. So let's calculate um, our matrices P L and U, and that's equal to LU of our matrix A. So does it run? Yes, it does. And let's just print out all of these matrices. So print uh, P, and what I'm going to do is print a space in between these matrices so they don't get too clunky. Uh, I'm going to be lazy and do a paste, paste, L, U. Oh, and I should probably put in here, um, uh, you could set the code so that it'll, it'll permute, permute, multiply this P matrix times the L matrix and uh, change the row order. So let's not do that explicitly here. So um, permute L is equal to false. So there's a permutation matrix. matrix. Um, here's our lower triangular matrix, and here is U, our upper triangular matrix. And I think I'm going to rename this uh, P0 because we need to define our permutations in a way that can be passed into that LU solve function. So there we go. Now LU solve takes two arguments, uh, our P matrix in a, in a different type of form, and it stitches together our L and U um, by removing the ones on the diagonal of, of um, L and then kind of pasting in on top our matrix um, U here. So in code, what I'm going to do is just get rid of these ones. And I'm gonna do a loop just because it, I'm, I'm lazy. You could probably do it with like a diagonal command, um, but I'm gonna replace these um, manually with zeros. And then I'm just gonna add these two matrices together uh, so that we can pass it into our LU solve function. So I just do the loop here. Let me make sure it runs. Yes, it does. And now we need to define um, our LU that gets passed into that LU solve function. And that's just gonna be L plus U and our permutations. The way it works um, is going to be mp.array. Um, it's going to be 2, 1, 0. The way it works, if you notice this matrix here, uh, basically just interchanges the third row and the, fir the first row, the zeroth row with the last row and the last row with the zeroth row. So that's what this P uh, tell, tells you. So uh, row two in that matrix becomes row zero, row one stays, uh, stays the same, and row two becomes row zero. So again, let's just make sure it runs. Cool. And now let's define our vector of vectors of known. So we're gonna have these three vectors here, one, zero, zero, one, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. So let's define them down here, and I'm going to call them uh, B1, B2, and B3 equals, equals, equals. So here is our vector of knowns, our three vectors of knowns, and we can't forget to multiply them times this permutation matrix here to kind of do the same shuffling of rows um, that, that is 
done automatically for you if you use the, the uh, CAN code. So I'm just going to multiply a, multiply them down here, and I'm going to put them on the same line. So uh, B1 is equal to P0 uh, matrix multiplied times B1. Likewise, B2 is P0 matrix multiplied by B2. And lastly, P... I'm sorry, B3 is equal to matrix multiply of P0 and B3. Does that look good? It looks good. Let's see if I... Yep, cool. So let's actually begin to solve this. Uh, I probably should not have named these Bs because Bs are the uh, matrix uh, inverse elements. Let me change them to I since they're for the identity matrix. So I, I, I... I, I, oh, come on, Kevin. I1, I2, I3, and then these need to be changed. I, 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 did I screw up up in front? No, I didn't. Okay. So now let's calculate our, because our Bs are the uh, the columns of the, of the uh, inverse matrix. So we call LU solve on our LU and P, and of course we pass in the columns of the identity matrix, and this should run. Uh, it does. I am going to make um, these come back as kind of these zero dimensional, um, oh, these actually come back as row vectors. I'm going to reshape them to make them explicitly uh, column vectors. So there we go, and now we just need to stitch them together to get our inverse matrix. So let's say A inverse is equal to, I'm going to just use the uh, horizontal stack function. So um, numpy H stack, it takes a tuple of your um, things you're stacking, so B1, B2, B3, and let's just print out A inverse. So that's what we get via LU decomposition, and let me try it down here to uh, just pass it to um, pass our original matrix to NumPy's um, linear algebra uh, inverse A, and hopefully, I haven't checked this, uh, we'll get the same thing. So minus 6.8, 16.9. 3 looks good. Let's just do um, here. Let's just say uh, A. Uh, let's come up with a name for A. Let's just say a numpy. A, a num for numpy, and we'll do an all close to um, np. Dot, oops, what happened here? np. Dot all close. It looks good. Uh, I just want to make sure. Uh, a num a inverse. Sweet. We nailed it. Cool. Pretty easy. Um, even though we didn't we didn't really do any programming here, I will put this up on GitHub in case you want to review what we did do. Uh, look at the notes and such. And until next time, see ya.